Agora TV. The world is thinking. This question uh, observes that this week's focus is on 20th, 21st century women. You are the face of the emergent 21st century woman. What challenge or call do you have for the women in this audience? The most privileged, wealthy women in the world. What is our national or global ro role oh, in this century? Thank you. Uh, last 20 years, I gave my heart and my soul to my people. During my front line, I have realized that the women is the leader of their societies. They are not the weak and not helpless. They are very strong human beings. In Africa, we carry our children in our back and our family in our hand. So the society is very many, many obstacles in life in, in Africa. And Western women, they have too much opportunity than us to study life, economical empowering. I think that women can change the world in a better way now. But if they had get uh, self-confidence and they know how they are powerful to do something, they can do. I want to make you an example. I went to, when they attacked me, I went to Uganda in neighboring country. I said I wanted to transfer my people to your country. They said, okay, you are welcome. We will give you uh, 15 miles of land. But I have shelter. I have water. I have food. I have an educational school. I have a hospital in my people. I say, I want these items. They say we cannot. We are government. Mm -hmm. But you are government. I am a one woman. And they say, no, these things can do only United Nations. Many states, unit, they can do. And that things I have done only my life. I am one woman. So they are more stronger than me because they had opportunity. They have to change the world in a better way. They have to help us, really. Uh, our children are very skinny, dying for starvation. People, old people and uh, uh, anticap, they are dying for starvation. They may change our life. They may change all over the world. The women of 21 centuries, they are very powerful. And I appreciate, I send them my greeting. Mm -hmm.